Welcome back to Vegan Live Fit, where looking good can save the earth. This is Corinne Sutton, and I'm here to talk about how to make your arms grow bigger. So, usually, this is something that, this is actually just a, a workout program that I actually do. You know, it's not, it's not something that I program for a special individual or anything like this. This is an actual program that I actually do for my arms. And what I usually do is, uh, you know, as you see, I'm um, start off with just walking on the stairmaster. I do that for about five minutes. I, I usually start my morning off sometimes with coffee, you know, and when I drink the coffee, I like the sometimes I like the caffeine, the stimulants of the caffeine. It gives me more of a pump, and I usually take BCAAs with a clean machine, you know, clean machine BCAAs. I take about two scoops of that with some water and I also put two scoops of Inca Living Maca powder inside the BCAAs too and I shake that up and I get the flavored one too I get the flavored fruit punch because it, it, it really tastes well it tastes really good with uh, the maca powder so I shake that up too and I sip on that usually throughout my workout or sometimes if I don't have uh, the coffee first I just take the BCAAs and then I drink that with the with the maca and it gives me a lot of good energy. Also with the cell block 80 testosterone booster, uh, I take that too because that one's really good too. So I take cell block 80 before I work out. Now, as you see, I'm doing, I start off with uh, shoulders because I had like a really heavy chest and back day. So my secondary muscles, my biceps, my triceps, they're already, they're already weakened, you know. So what I do is I start off with, today's like more of a moderate day for my shoulders. So I start off with 15 reps of a shoulder press and then I superseted it with a military press and then another 15 reps. So we're doing more high, high rep range today because there's different ways you can actually exercise the muscle. It doesn't have to be the original eight to 12 lift heavy. You know, when we do hypertrophy type training, it's all about time under tension. So you definitely want to try out different methods to try to fatigue that muscle because that's gonna give the muscle maximized growth. You want to always remember the key of muscle growth is time under tension. So you wanna, you wanna keep the eight and 12 but you definitely want to mix it up with different types of exercises, with supersets, using just medium weight to really put a long time under tension underneath that muscle. So now, right here, I'm, you know, when it came to, you saw in the beginning, I couldn't even lift, lift, lift up the first uh, rep, you know, so I have no shame. I'm not going to try to muscle it out. If you lose form, you know, just put lighten it up lighten it up and then fix your form because you want to have good form the whole time when you're exercising and then use a weight that's more appropriate for you now we're doing the rear flies the rear cable flies these woo, these exercises right here especially that hold and squeeze for about like that one or two seconds wow you're really going to feel the burn it really if you're trying to grow your rear delts hold do those little pauses, you know, and you're really going to feel, you're going to feel a burning sensation. You're really going to really strengthen those muscles. Now I'm doing medium. So as you see, throughout the workouts, I'm doing shoulders. I start off with the anterior, medial, and posterior part of the shoulders because there's three parts. So now I'm hitting the medial with the lateral raises, you know. That's really going to definitely work out all parts of the shoulder so when you have that nice round look you know you want to have that nice round shoulder look it's going to give it that real natural more more proportionate look on your body because bodybuilding is all about aesthetics you know building you don't want to have a bigger upper body and small lower body you know it's, it's, it's very strict with proportion you know now we're doing I'm doing this one's the three, this is actually, I don't, you have supersets or I would say like a tri-set where 
I do three different exercises on one muscle group. So I'm using a medium weight and I'm doing 15, I did a 15 pronated grip, tricep pull down, then right into a supinated grip, tricep pull down. And now I'm going right into an overhead tricep pull down. Really tiring out those muscles. Like I said, time under tension. You know? and, now, and you're also hitting all, the, all, the, all three of the tricep heads. You're hitting all three parts of the muscles. Now, we're going a little heavy. So now I'm doing heavy reps. Like I said, I mix it into a program. I mix in with high repetitions and then finish it off with some heavy weights. Going right into it, trying to hold my form as best as I can. A lot of people really curl down. So I'm really trying to keep my chest up, keeping a nice athletic stand, keeping the butt out, squeezing down into the core, trying to keep my elbows in really tight. It was really heavy. But I was really trying to keep my form there. Form is very important. When you when you notice you're bending down, and you're you, you're like this doing that tricep pull down, it's not good. Now right into these bicep curls. I believe this is it, because right I I remember that was getting really tired. I was getting really tired doing the, my biceps. I just finished doing back. So my biceps were already, they're already dead. I didn't even feel like doing them, but I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get them in. I'll just go pretty heavy, 12 reps, you know? But there you have it. That's my, that's my arm workout. And try it out, try it out. Especially if, if you're a woman too, don't think doing an arm workout like that is going to make your arms bigger because a lot of women they, they say like oh I want to get rid of that you know doing those high repetitions you know even adding in heavy weights it's definitely going to give you more definition it's going to burn the fat around there you know so you really want to do it you know don't be scared to, to get bigger arms and with the guys you know definitely do them you know if you want bigger arms that's why I usually do mix up the workouts you know mix out the rep, rep ranges you know if you're doing barbell bicep curl 8 to 12 one day next day do 15 reps next day do 30 reps you know mix it up but there you go oh uh, that's vegan live fit please comment subscribe down below but be vegan live life fit forever peace out